Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. You are watching Christian Adventure Gamer, and I am Daniel the Paladin. And I am Alex the Rogue. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing of this Kickstarter version of Dice Born Heroes. And so this is a game that I actually got to play via um, Tabletop Simulator for Gen Con Online. Um, I bought this from a user on Board Game Geek, which was a lot cheaper than buying it from the company that made this game. And so I did talk about this game in a previous video when we were talking about our um, experience with Gen Con Online. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to pick this up because it was a good price, and I think this is a game my wife would like. There's not too many games that she likes, uh, but she does like some adventure games, so I thought this would be a good one for her. But before we get into this, I wanted to tell you about a contest that we're having. We're giving away a copy of Dragonfire by Catalyst Games here. Uh, it's a Dungeons and Dragons deck building game. And so all you got to do is be a subscriber and comment in any of our videos from July through September. And you get entered into this contest and then one lucky subscriber will win a copy of Dragonfire. So good luck. All right, and before I open up this, since this is a Kickstarter version, the person that sold to me even gave me this little note that uh, the designer made for the Kickstarter backers. It says, allow me to give you a heartfelt thank you. Dice Porn Heroes could not have been possible without your help. Volunteering your support has made this dream a reality. Every difficulty I ran across has been a lesson learned. Numerous volunteers have stepped forward offering their time and support. Though I had doubts at times we would make it to this point, I knew I had to see this through. Unexpected hurdles in our proofing production and shipping seemed to show up weekly. Reaching this point has been a rewarding challenge. Each of these challenges are lessons I will carry with me for future projects. Believing in me is something I can't thank you enough for. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy the game. Online info available at Diceborn.com for any future news and updates. Keith Donaldson. All right. And so we have this extra pack here with a Diceborn Hero Dice bag. So there's that, right? And we have a package of bags. And then we have this. There's no cellophane wrap or or shrink wrap around it, but there are cards in it, so let's go ahead and take those out. All right, so a simple box, simple artwork, right? And so we have Monster Village here. Uh, the cave opens up, revealing small Monster Village. Uh, Demora see, says the need to break into the locked fortress to get the key to escape. All right, so I do believe these are the quest cards that you have to complete. So that's what they look like. So we have number two. So I think there's three series of them. Um, so let's see if I can open this. Actually, I'll let Alex try to open that. And I have cards here. Uh, there we go. So we have some heroes here. We have they come in different levels. So level one, two, and three, I do believe. Um, yep. And so, let's see here, let's get the level 1's out, okay? And so these are the abilities. This tells you what color of dice you're going to be using. And this will tell you where you can place your die. So body slam, you need a 6. Uh, and then for counter, you need a 4 plus. And uh, bash, you can have any number. Okay, and then once this level's up, you just flip this over and you choose either a monk or a knight from the next level. So you have different things here, like copycat, alchemist, and so let's see if there's a monk or a knight in here that I can see. Uh, there's a monk right there. So that person could transition to a monk, or where did I see the knight? They should be in alphabetical order, so right there, knight. Uh, and so the artwork is very, very bland, very, very plain as far as the heroes go. So if you can see that, okay, so very, very basic art, nothing extremely fancy. Uh, you also have a special power that can be unlocked uh, with certain achievements. I can't remember because it's been a few weeks. Um, I kind of expected these hero cards to be bigger, honestly, from playing on the uh, tabletop simulator because they looked bigger. So then we have a mage. So a mage can be flipped over for a copycat illusionist. Uh, there's a mage here, obviously, same thing, different artwork. So he looks like someone you see from... Uh, 
Final Fantasy, possibly, from the original Final Fantasy game, kind of like with this one. Uh, that's one thing I like about the artwork. Even though it's bland, it kind of reminds me of some of the 16-bit uh, or 8-bit graphics, in a sense, even though they're not pixelated. They're not high def, obviously. There's a priest, thief, another thief, another thief. So lots of thieves. We have level 2. Uh, we have alchemist, archer, copycat, another copycat, another copycat. Illusionist, knight, a matador. So you someone can upgrade to a matador. Uh, there's another one. There's a monk, time sage, right there. Uh, this kind of looks like it might be someone's face. Like it doesn't look like artwork. It looks like a, a different artwork of someone's actual face. We have arcanist, a bard. Again, these look like possibly real people uh, that were cartoonized. I guess that's the term you'd use, right? They were turned into cartoons. Uh, investigator, and uh, there's another inventor, uh, oracle, painter. These are all level threes, by the way. We have a paladin, so that looks like that could be someone's actual face. Uh, we have a summoner, uh, uh, sword sorcerer, sword sorcerer. Is that a sorcerer? It's sword sorcerer. Okay. Uh, there's another one. We have another one. Berserker, dark knight, dragoon, gambler, another gambler, another gambler. There's a ninja. So I'll set that there. Ninja, ranger, samurai. Vanguard, another Vanguard, another Vanguard. So there's lots of specific ones, but not so many of like certain ones. For example, like there's only one Paladin, uh, there's only one Summoner, but then there's lots of Sorcerers, there's lots of Gamblers, and there's lots of Vanguards. So I'll take that, that, and that. Alright, so what you got there, sir? <laughs> Alex. I have no idea. Okay, let me see it. Oh, these are the quest cards, remember? Oh, yes. Yeah, so there is number two, and then I think this tells you the different quests. So, like, there's the Mysterious ca uh, Carnival quest. I'm not sure what this leveling system here means. I'm wondering if that's just the difficulty level. So we have here, uh, Dark Carnival, uh, House of Mirrors, Campfire at Night, and we have the boss that you have to fight, which is Kalika. Uh, Monster Village, I don't know where that goes to, as far as, like, what quest. <clears throat> so, um, Aquatic Trench, so there's one, I'm not sure what that would be for. Uh, the Pearl in the Palace, so there's another quest there. So I'm assuming these ones may already be in the box. And then we have the Town Fair, so the Town Fair you think would be part of the Carnival, but here's, I'll just give those to Alex. <sighs> We have another thing of uh, cards here, so open that up. Alright, so we have, I believe these are different items and possibly even monsters. Um, maybe, oh, actually I don't think so, I thought maybe they were. There's a magic Kali copy, uh, inferred silver fang. Painting, attack cards. We have Diceborn Heroes Boss, so there's a boss there. Oops, that's not a boss. Uh, falling Rumble. Falling Rubble, so I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, so I'll figure out what all these are. Different items, different attack cards, things like that. So I wonder if these are different things that you can win. But all right, let's dive into this. Let's see what it says on the back. Um, two, oh, sorry, one to four. That's right, you can tell with this. One to four plays in about 60 to 90 minutes. And I do believe that time is off. Um, because if you're playing with a full four players, we were playing for like two and a half hours plus when we were playing uh, on Tabletop Simulator. And maybe part of that is the people trying to learn how to use Tabletop Simulator. But there's obviously lots of words on the back of this. Um, Perhaps they shouldn't have put all these words here, because uh, it kind of takes away from the artwork there. Uh, the land of Divalis. The land of Divalis needs you. Uh, monster attacks have run rampant in the once quiet kingdom. The threat of a sinister plot driving the attacks looms over the land. The king gifts a group of noble heroes with magic gems. These gems give the heroes the strength to protect innocent bystanders. Their quests send them to far-off lands. Now they must band together to defeat the evils 
that plague the kingdom of Divalence. Divalence. <clears throat> Divalis. Divalis. That's it. The land of Divalis needs you. All right, I'm not going to continue reading that. All right, so let's go open this up. There's more words. These must be the people that backed the game, possibly. There's lots and lots of names here. Eric uh, Medificer, uh, Frank Hoyce, Miles, Chops, Rick, Kelly, Ad Adriel. So lots of lots of names. So that's kind of neat that they did that. Oops, so there's that. The book. <clears throat> Hopefully the book is easy to read. Lots of good pictures. That's good. Uh, lots of uh, examples pointing to things. Okay. And I think that should be pretty simple to read then. Hopefully it's well written. We have the tokens here. Uh, let's see if they pop out easy. Yep, they seem to pop out really easy. So that's neat. Um, let's see here. All right. Oops. Uh, I'll just go and put that over there. And here is the actual player board. This is the board. When I say player board, I mean the actual board where you set up your monsters, your different levels of monsters, you set up your quests. Um, when you discard cards or uh, attack cards, you put them there. This is where your monsters go out. This gives you the glossary here of what all the different symbols mean, so that's good. However, I think it would have been nice to actually give player aids out uh, instead of everyone trying to look at the center board, which is probably away from uh, some people's vision. So there's that. Here's some more bags. Put that over there. Um, there is an injured silver fang ally card right here. Silver fang. Uh, here are the dice. So these are nice. I actually didn't expect them to look like this. Um, they're kind of small, but they are very nice. Um, they're engraved dice that are painted, obviously. It looks like a Jolly Rancher almost. So Alex, you want to go show that to the camera? And also we have red, blue, green, like she's holding. Um, so yeah, it's kind of nice. I like those. I was kind of expecting something a little bigger, but you know, that's not bad. Um, and then we have stacks of cards. So okay, these actually have everything set up in them. So I like that. I like the fact that they put these in bags to set up for different quests instead of me trying to randomly search through things. So I'm just going to set that like that for right now. So I assume that these could go in here like this. Because there's no way this is going to go in there. That would make no sense. So the Chancellor's Plot. So this must be the level of difficulty. Uh, let's see if they get harder. Yep, so there's three bars of red, uh, three bars of brown, three bars of yellow. And if there's only going to be like three, brown, three bars of a certain color, then what would be the point of having all those bars? Why wouldn't you just use like a meter? Um, to show that, so this is kind of funny. All right, so let's see what's in here. So the Chancellor's Plot. So we have the card that tells you what you're going to need. So obviously you have three bars here and no bars colored here. Chancellor's Ploy. I said plot earlier. Oh, it says, yeah, Chancellor's Plot, and here it says the Chancellor's Ploy. So I'm not sure why it doesn't say the same. Uh, Holy Idol, Golden Circle, or sorry, the Golden Circlet, Sana, uh, Diavalos, we have the Ancient Church, Palace Square, Diavalos Castle, Boss, Diav Diavolos. So we have the Necromancer here, Ancient Church. So there's one, Palace Square. So uh, Ancient Church, Palace Square, Diavalos Castle. Uh, Diavalos Castle, and then there is Diavolos card. And so he's got a big flaming sword. Uh, equal to the number of wounds on the target. Uh, so these are the attacks it can do. So yeah, there's times where you have to put dice on them to get them to activate. So, all right. And there's going to be things that make you put dice on them, if I remember correctly. So there's that. We have the Princess Sona card. And then we have some other idol, like Holy Idol, um, the attack card for the villain there. And a gold circlet. Okay. So this is a campaign style game. Obviously you can just do one uh, quest and then go on to the next, the next, the next. So there's that. Uh, I'm not going to dive through all those. What did you find over here, Alex? Well, I put all the uh, things, all the, uh, 
quests were them looking Quests? Like? Yes. Okay, you found all the encounters for the quest? Mm -hmm, and then their bosses. Oh, nice. So I bet these cards here go to those. Yes. All right. Thank you, Alex. And then here are the heroes. So these are going to be probably very similar to the ones that we were looked at, but with different artwork. So those ones look like they were special artwork earlier because it looked like they were actually drawn after somebody. Uh, if I can open this. Alright, so here's this artwork that is very simple, simply drawn. You can see here. Very simple. And the artwork style kind of reminds me of some of the original Final Fantasy games. So we have a fighter, another fighter, and we have a mage, another mage, same mage that we've seen earlier, priest, a priest again, thief. Thief. We have an alchemist for level two. And an alchemist, when you when you level them up, you can switch to arcanist or a painter. So then that's what you could choose next, or you can actually keep the same character card. Alchemist. Well, also I should say that um, I don't think there are player boards, but uh, when we were playing on um, on Tabletop Simulator, we, they use some kind of board to kind of help uh, manage your character. So basically, you would set this here, like on the table, as your character, if that's what you're using. And then when I would want to level them up, I'd flip it over, then I get to choose which special ability I want to have. So there's Poison Tip, then there is uh, Grenade. So let's say I chose Grenade, then I'd go to either find the Painter or the Arcanist. So let's say I pull out the Arcanist, I'd flip that over there, and so they would also have that in addition. And so let's say I start with a character to begin with. Let's say I choose a mage. I think a mage would be able to go and flip to, yep, alchemist so, or illusionist. So I'd flip, use that, okay? I'd level it up, flip that there. Let's say I chose lightning. Then my uh, alchemist would level up to that, obviously. Then it'd have green and blue. So obviously I want to make sure that I'm using similar dice when I try to pick my special abilities or my next character. So then, again, I would use, let's say the poison tip, so that'd go there, and then on my level 3 character, I'd put that right there. So then I'd have those two special abilities on top of what's here. So you're going to have Alchemist, Archer, another Archer, Illusionist, and they kind of look like Lemmings there, so Knight, Knight, there's another Knight, so I assume that he would be able to go to a Dragoon maybe later. Nope, Dark Knight or Samurai, which makes no sense. Uh, and then we have a Monk, another Monk, and then it's separated by Turn Order cards, so hey, look at that. Gives you cards for symbols, so I'm glad that they actually did that. Um, we weren't using these in the um, digital version of the game, so that's nice to have those. So I'm gonna set those aside, uh, and then we have Time Sage, Time Sage. Uh, then we have the level three, so we have Arcanist, Arcanist, Bard, a uh, Bard, Oracle, Oracle, Painter, Painter, Paladin. So we have more Paladins now. Summoner, uh, Summoner. Uh, Berserker, um, Berserker, Dark Knight, Dark Knight, Dragoon, Dragoon, Ninja, Ninja, Ranger, Ranger, Samurai, and Samurai. So that is, there's obviously lots of characters in this game, as you can see. And then with the addition of this pack, the Campaign Treasure Pack, you have a lot more. And obviously you have fighters here that have different artwork. And I do believe that should be like a cartoon version of maybe one of the designers. That would make sense, because that guy looks like he is created to be anime, you know, cartoonish. Um, but then some of these obviously look like they're just the same artwork. So there's definitely a difference there. All right, let's dive into what's next. Set that in there for right now. Uh, so we have all these different quest cards here. So we have the Chancellor's Plot. Obviously, I said that one earlier. Uh, Jade Peak Assault. Temple in the Sand, uh, Awakening in the Deep, Raiders of Rune Tech, A Girl and a Dragon, The King's Secret, and White Manor Mystery. And what were the adventures that came with those? So there was the Time Pendant, the Mysterious Carnival, the Pearl in the Palace, Into the Labyrinth, 
Graves Gallery, and Above and Below. Okay. So here are the monster cards. And the artwork on these are going to be very simple. They're going to kind of remind you of some of the simple artwork in some of the older Final Fantasy games. Uh, if I can open it. There we go. All right, Alex, you want to go through these? Oh. All right, so you have the Bandersnatch, Fade Mouth, Mimic, Shoe, Imp, oh, we have Cerberus, Asp, Iron Giant, Rack Root, Rexel, Slime, there's a song. Don Sonetto. Okay, let me see those. So what are these? These are songs. So I don't understand why they're in between the monsters. So there's another one. Okay, so oh, just separate them as you go through them. Alright. So I have Don Sonata. Luna's Lullaby. Rockling. Can you order Yeah. Uh, Magmative, Basilisk, Aquamite, Helion, Mandragora, yeah, Mandragora, Minotaur, Skeleton, Kindred, Cockatrice, Cockatrice, uh, Lamia, Bone Dragon, Ghost. Mel Melto Calitosis? Yeah. Sahagin? Sandworm, Vampire Bat. And then Healing Him, Shade, Odd Melody, Knoll, Quill Bear, Chimera, Goblin, Mega Magma, Scorpion. Zoo, Wolf, Hero's Ballad, and Antlion. I thought one of those were fun. Not fun. Time Minute. 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 Time Minute? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Granit. Granitos. Granitoys. And then. Injured Silver Fang, or Silver Fang, and then... Really? There's another one. Okay, here. Sectorator. I'll take that and put it in here. I'm not sure what that All is. Alright, so we have items here. Let's see here. Alright, so I'll take that off. Get rid of that. Alright, so we have something that has bounty on it. So these are kind of mixed up. So the noble spy from the north looking to infiltrate and stop the rune tech research. So, uh, we have an item, another bounty, another item. We have the attack cards. Um, so those are all mixed up, so I have no clue why they're mixed up. That's kind of confusing. Um, but yeah, there are those, some more bounty cards. Um, so here's an item, red fang item, uh, solar shade dust. And that looks like another bounty, attack card, another bounty. Another attack card, another item, and so I'm gonna have fun going through all of these. Okay, so that's a little confusing to separate everything. But alright, so that is everything it looks like that comes with the Kickstarter version of this game. So hey, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.